What is up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to fix a program creeps crashing on your Windows 10 device. So we're going to go through two tr tricks basically on how to fix this and it's going to be very quick to do. Uh, three, if you want to try just restarting your computer, maybe that fixes it. If you've obviously already tried that, the, the meme basically have you tried turning it on and off. <laughs> um, if you've already tried that, you can skip that step. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, search bar and write CMD. Once the command prompt pops up, you want to run it as administrator. You want to say yes. And what you want to do is you want to write, I believe it is slash, no, it's SFC slash scan. Now, I was going what it is. Uh, so you want to basically write that and it's going to start scanning your system. And it might take some time depending on like what it is. Uh, so for me, as you can see for me, I have a system repairs pending, which requires reboot to complete, re restart Windows, and then run SFC scan. So, so for you, it may not have that. It might just do the scan 100%, and then you want to restart your computer. And once you do that, you should be good to go. You should not get that error any longer, uh, and it should not crash as shit any longer. Uh, the next thing you can do is you want to go now, and for if that doesn't fix it, is you want to go to your, uh, you want to go to your search bar again, and you want to write advanced system settings, and this is going to pop up from the control panel. In here, we're going to go to advanced and we're going to click into performance. We're going to go to settings and we're going to go to data execution prevention. We're going to do turn on DEP for all programs and services except those I select. You're going to add the DEP program, the data execution prevention one that is causing issues for you or crashing. So you want to add that here. You press add. You might have to find it, but you want to find it, add it in here, and then basically apply, restart your computer, and you should not crash any longer. Like I said, two quick fixes, three if you count the restart, and then you should be good to go. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. Helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, more tutorials out. Peace.